Good evening, everybody, and welcome. Elwood Quiz, three minutes to go. I bet you can't wait. Shabba. One minute to go, Bellwood Quizzes, can you wait? Oh, I bet you can't. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Bellwood Quiz. The countdown has started for your Friday night pleasure. Good evening to all those people. Oh, Zoe, you're back again. Hey, sober or not so sober this evening? Good evening, everybody. Judith, Rachel, oh, the wife, wife's on, Colin, Shelley, fabulous. Lois, good evening. See you all in a minute and 20 seconds. Shabba.
you can't hear me, that's better. Good evening, hello, sorry. Little technical glitch there. Anyway, hello to everybody, hope everybody is okay. We are all up and running now, yes. So, five quizzes we have for you this week. The first quiz is called Booze Cruise. So I've been bobbing around on a boat and I've been picking up beer and drinks from around the world. So, shall we start quiz number one? It is called Booze Cruise. Here we go. So all I want you to do is just tell me, where does Heineken come from? Is it A, B, or C? Dead easy, isn't it? So is it A, B, or C? Where does Heineken come from? Question number two. Chang. Where does Chang come from? Have a guess. If you don't know, just put A, B or C down. Dead easy, isn't it? Question number three. Where does Cronenberg come from? Is it A, B or C? Is it Italy, Germany or France? Cronenberg, what do we reckon? Question number four, Guinness. An easy one, this. Is it A, France, B, Ireland, or C, Iceland? Not the shop. Is it A, B, or C? Get the idea now, don't we? Question five. Mmm, tricky one. Is that Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, or Turkey? A, B, or C? Question number six. Sri Lanka, Hong Kong or Japan? Where does that come from? Time for a drink, I think, already. Is. So that's question number six. Here comes number seven. Three, three, three. China, Vietnam or Japan? Where does it come from? What do you reckon? A, B or C? Question number eight. Victoria Bitter, also known as VB. Australia, England or Wales? A, B or C? What do you think? And number nine, come on everybody. Budweiser, is it A, Canada, B, America or C, Germany? country does this drink come from? Banks beer. Is it A, India, B, Barbados, or C, Mexico? A, B, or C? Number 11. <laughs> Corona. We all know this one at the moment, don't we? Is it A, China, B, Spain, or C, Mexico? A, B, or C? the booze cruise going. Number 12, Viking. Is it A, Sweden, B, the Netherlands, or C, Iceland? A, B, or C? Had a busy week, haven't I, on that boat? I thought Sophie would like this quiz. Number 13, Baltica. Sweden, Russia, or German? A, B, or C? Question 13. Question 14. Ephes. Ephes? Is it French, Portugal, or Turkey? A, B, or C? What do you reckon? 
A, B or C. And the last question. Cruz Campo. A, French, B, Portugal or C, Spain. Which one do you think that is? So A, B or C. Dead easy, isn't it? Oops, I think I've stunk. So, what did we think to that quiz then? Quite good, wasn't it? Good fun. Uh, lots of different boozes from around the world, but shall we mark the quiz and see how everybody did? OK. Here we go. So, number one, Heineken. That was the Netherlands, so that was A. And number two, Chang, was Thailand, so that was C. Number three, Cronenberg, was France, and that was C. Guinness, of course, was from Ireland, and that was B. We've got a bit of a wobbly sea legs there. And Mosi was Saudi Arabia. That's question five, that was A. Number six was C, Japan. Number seven, 333, that was B, Vietnam. Number eight, Victoria Bitter, Australia, that was A. Number nine, Budweiser, which I presume everybody should have got there, that was B, America. And number 10, Banks Beer, was B for Barbados. 11, Corona, we all know it so well at the moment, don't we? Which is C, and that was Mexico. And Viking was question 12, and that's C, and that was Iceland. Not bad. And 13, Baltica, that was B, Russia. It looked Russian, didn't it, that? Uh, th 14, Effies, that was C, Turkey. And 15, Cruz Campo, that was Spain. So, tot up your scores, let's see how everybody did. And let's have a look. So, quiz number one done, let's have a look at your comments. So how did everybody do there? What do you think to that first quiz? It wasn't too bad, was it? Nobody got hurt anyway. So some scores coming in already. Oh, some good scores here coming in. So let's have a look, where are we? Colin, 11, well done. Uh, Karen, 12, well done. Christina, 13. Sue Hickman, 10. Carl, that's a good score. Zoe, wow, 11 double figures, well done. Uh, everybody's pinging. Bridget, 12. Well done. Avril, 10. Janice, 11. Kev, 12. I thought you'd get a good score. Pom, 11. Well done. Lee, 10. Good, good, good. Lucy Jane, 10. Sophie Hilditch, good evening. Hope the rest of the family is there. That's a solid 12. Louise Ricks, 11. Julie, 11. Guy, solid 12. Okay, Stella, don't worry about that. We'll move on. Mandy, 13. Good score. Anne, 12, Nikki, 13, Rachel, 11, Paula, 14, Judith, 12, 12 out of 15, but you don't really drink Barbara, it's all right, it doesn't matter, yeah. Uh, 11 for Richard Dixon, uh, Kathy, 12, well done, Shirley, 13, Gillian, 13, double figures for Grace, those cookies were amazing, by the way, thank you very much. Uh, Richard Dixon, happy 21st, Curtis, yeah, happy 21st, have a drink for us. Katie, 11, hi, Kay Rogers. Paul, what were the answers for 10, 11, and 12? Uh, 10 was B, uh, 11 was C, and 12 was C as well. So B, C, C. So, thank you. Yes, it is my birthday on the 1st of July. Yes, thank you, mother-in-law. Very kind of you. So, shall we? Let's move on to quiz number two. Hmm, I wonder what it's about. It is Capital Cities. Oh, I know everybody loves that one. So, you're going to see some names of countries, and I just want you to tell me the capital city. It's dead easy. Paul, well done, 13 out of 15, awesome. Brilliant. So, Capital Cities, just tell me the name of the capital city from the country you're going to see. Dead easy. Here we go. Okay, question number one, what's the capital city of China? It's 
So just write down what's the capital city of China. Number two, what's the capital city of Canada? Ooh, yeah, that one. Is it a tricky question? I don't know. So just write down your answers. Number two, capital city of Canada. Number three, what's the capital of Brazil? No Googling now. I know people are going to cheat on this one. But what's the capital city of Brazil? Question three. Question four. What's the capital city of Poland? Dead easy, aren't they, these, when you know the answers? But it gets you thinking of it, doesn't it? And question five. What's the capital city of Ethiopia? So question five. What's the capital city of Ethiopia? Number six. What's that capital city of Pakistan? Just write down the answer. Don't be a chancer this Friday. I've just seen that comment, Mrs. Thank you very much. Pushing me off the cliff of the wheelchair. Fabulous. Number seven. What's the capital city of Switzerland? So that's number seven. What's the capital city of Switzerland? Number eight. What's the capital city of Nigeria? And number nine. What's the capital city of Turkey? Gobble, gobble. What's the capital city of Turkey? Question number nine. And number ten, what's the capital city of Estonia? So Estonia, the capital city is... Write it down, question ten, five more to go. And number eleven, what's the capital city of Austria? All these school teachers amongst us should be good at this one. I'm reckoning you, Zoe. I'm looking at a high score this week. And Colin and Kev, I reckon. What's the capital city of Chile? Just write down the answer, number 12. And number 13, the capital city of Oman. What's the capital of Oman? Question 13. And 14. What's the capital city of Portugal? One more to go. City of Malta, question 15. Come on, write it down. Fabulous, there we go. That's the second quiz done already. Can you believe it? I just need to pop this down here. Shall we mark some scores? I think we shall. So, capital cities, what did we do there? <laughs> I have no idea. Some tricky ones in there. So, question number one capital of China is Beijing. And uh, number two, Canada is Ottawa. Number three, Brazil, is Brasilia. I didn't know that one. At number four, Poland, that's Warsaw. Number five, Ethiopia, is Addis Ababa. Number six, Pakistan, is Islamabad. Number seven, Switzerland, is Bern. Number eight, Nigeria, Abuja, A-B-U-J-A. -A. I would never have got that one. Number nine, Turkey, is Ankara. Number 10, Estonia, is Tallinn. Tallinn for number 10. Number 11, Austria. Ooh, what was that one? That's Vienna. Of course it is. Number 12, Chile. Yes. Santiago is the answer. Number 13, did anybody get this one? Oman. That was Muscat. Muscat. 14, Portugal, is Lisbon. And number 15, Malta. 
is Valletta. So let's have a look at your scores. How did everybody do on that one? Did you find it too quizzy or not quizzy? Oh, Becky, two, blimey. Barbara, you got 12, well done, Becky, two. Good evening, and oops, absolutely. Karen, nine, that's not a bad score, 14K. Wow, you did pay attention at school, didn't you? Lucy Jane, 11. Amanda Louise, 11. Oh, same scores. That's it. Zoe, really, have you missed a, a digit off there? Oh, and you're a teacher. Oh, how dare you. Barbara, 12, good score. Colin, nine, good score. Louise, well done, 12. Sue Hickman, eight, well done. Uh, Avril, nine. <laughs> Bridget, oh dear, three, not to worry. Janice, 10 out of 15. Tracy, good evening, six, that's not a bad score. Uh, Katie, nine. Yeah, it's not too bad, there's some tricky ones in there. Okay, all right then. Uh, Paul, 11, good score. Kev, eight, that's not too bad. There were some tricky ones in there, I thought. Richard Dixon, seven. Uh, Karen, six. Sophie, solid score there, ten. Uh, Pom, uh, ten. And Sophie Hilditch, 14. Wow, well done. Brain box. Julia Russell, ten. You had help, didn't you? Thirteen, didn't know a man. I know, yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it, that? Guy, thirteen, well done. Lee, six. Anne, eleven. Shirley, nine. Paul. Oops. It's all right, don't worry about it. Oh, Nikki, don't worry about it. Nine's not bad score. It's not the lowest, is it? Uh, Dad, eight. Oh, well done. You teach four-year-olds. Okay, well, there we go. Here's the lesson then. Uh, nine for Dorothy and Kathy got ten. Wow. So, what did we think of that quiz then? Not too bad, was it? But can we do better? Can we do better? What we will do should do now is we're going to go for a little break fill up our gin and tonics because after this we have a really really good quiz that I need you to watch and listen we've got TV clips and I just need you to name the shows we do like this so we'll have a, a break and then we'll see you in a minute or so okay Shabba So how are we all finding it this evening? Some tricky ones in there, isn't it? So a few more seconds, we'll just fill our glasses and then we'll get on to the third quiz. Name that show.
Zoe, tell Brian to hurry up. Just throw some ice in her glass and give you some vodka and coke. It doesn't matter. There again, your cocktails last week got lethal. They used those on SpaceX, didn't they? Back in a few seconds. Thanks, Guy. Yeah, um, dab handed it, you know. It's what I practiced during the week, get the old organ out and, you know, tinkle the ivories. Here we go. Hello, welcome back. I hope you had a lovely drink. I had a quick slurp and just check that everybody is okay. Good. So, quiz number three. Are we ready for this one? Name that show. So, all we're going to do now, you need to turn your volume up when I finish rabbiting on. And I want you to tell me the name of the TV shows. 15 questions. Are we ready? Quiz number three. Name that show. Here we go. The drinks, madam. Oh, thank you, Brandra. Your usual glass of sherry, madam. Just half a glass, please, Bevendra. Miss Grovey, She'll have half a glass as well. <laughs> We're economising. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Miss Rule. Mike Yarwood. Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> well, I forget to like this. Of course, I'll still roll my own occasionally. Yes, of course. <laughs> Preservatives. Besides, Chrissy thinks she has a chance of winning a bicycle. See, we got one stamp already, two more, and the bike is hers. Nobody wins those things. Hey, I know that. I do know that. Miss Richards is buying the house. Ten, twenty, thirty dollars. Is this all they're offering for the place? <laughs> I don't really think so. I don't know what we paid for it, but I believe that it would top this. <laughs> Hello. I was afraid you wouldn't get here in time. I was studying the faces of our fellow passengers. Fascinating hobby, and sometimes most enlightening. Lady Margaret is aboard the train, I presume. Oh, yes, Mother's expecting. but not to put too fine a point on it. The individual in question is, it may surprise you to learn, one whom your present interlocutor <laughs> is in the hand. And so you said, let's take some space, and he literally took some space and never, you never heard from him yeah. again? <laughs> yeah, uh, we stayed in contact for a little while, but just one day I went to the first day of the new season. And uh, we're just starting off and hope you will join us all year long. We need you. We love you. Okay, they were the TV stars that week after week brought joy to our home. They were Come to see you. I wouldn't bother, I'm not in. Where are you going? Down the hospital? No, I'm going about that job, remember? I'm standing in for stool while his legs on the mend.
get through that door over there, but first you've got to find out which are the safe squares. And when you've done that, you'll know which two buttons to press, and the door will open, and you can go straight through. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Sadomasochist bed jacket. Hi. Hi, Hi Dr. Dr. Mulray. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, how's this? <laughs> mean, moody, and medicinal. He's hard not to crack his that one. I shall never get near her bedroom, you know. No. Not much point if you've crushed your fur. <laughs> So what did we think to that? Was that a nasty quiz or was that good fun? What do we think? Shall we do some marking? I think we should. So name that show. 15 questions we had of TV shows that half of them I have no idea what they were called. But let's find out. So question one was to the manor born. To the manor born. Number two, I thought an easy one. This was George and Mildred. Yes. Number three, did anybody get that? Monkey. Yeah, do you remember that one? Four, TJ Hooker. Mm. Number five, the Beverly Hillbillies. Number six was Sherlock Holmes. Do you believe it's Sherlock Holmes? Wow, it was an old one, wasn't it? Number seven was Yes Minster. That was from, uh, well, from the 80s, wasn't it? Uh, number eight, Ricky Lake, a classic, wasn't it? Number nine, another classic, Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Wow, do you remember that? Number 10, it wasn't Grange Hill, it was Tucker's Look, Tucker's Look. Number 11 was Emu's World with Grot Bags. Number 12, of course, was Airwolf, yes. Number 13, did anybody get that one with Moira Stewart? It was The Adventure Game, The Adventure Game. Question 14, Kate and Ali. And number 15, Open All Hours. So, tot up your scores, and let's see how you did on quiz number three. Name that show. So how did everybody do on there? Zoe, 13 out of 15, well done. Amanda Louise, 14, awesome. Lucy Jane, 12, well done. Karen, 10. Karen, seven. Tracy, 14. Paul, 13, a good score. Janice, eight. Colin, eight out of 15, you're too young. Okay. Uh, Sophie, 11 out of 15. Oh, no, not next door, please. At number 10, 10 for Kay Rogers, well done. Shelley, 12, good score. Oh, not to worry, you have another brandy, love, you'll be fine. Uh, Pom, nine. Oh, Becky, you'll be fine, just go with it. Just have a drink, it's all right. Guy, nine. Bridget, solid score of 10. Kev, not your song, strong subject, okay. Should have been what, Jerry Springer or something like that. Uh, Ricky Dixon, 10 out of 15. Oh, the memories I know in the Twin Towers, isn't it? Watching all those uh, bad afternoon telly when it's chucking it down. Uh, Paula, 10. Uh, Kathy, 12. Uh, Sophie, 12. Good score. Louise, 12. Anne, 8. Avril, 10. Katie, 11. Stella, 8. Barbara, it was a bit tough, wasn't it, that? Uh, 8 out of 15. Still a good score, though. 13 for Rachel. Dorothy, 7. Oh, I'm sorry, Judith. It's hard, OK. Lee, 6. No need to cry. Just have a drink. Uh, Nikki, 9. Sue Hickman, 13. Yeah, I know, absolutely, wasn't it? So, how did we all think we went on there? Shall we move on to the next quiz in a minute? I think we should.
So, I have to keep running round. You don't know what I'm doing here. It's quite funny. Uh, quiz number four. We'll have another quiz and we'll have another little break, I think, because we've done really well. Uh, is a general knowledge quiz. Oh, yes, they're the best, aren't they? So, another 15 questions to get the brain going. So, let's start quiz number four, general knowledge. Shabba. So, just give me the answer. The boy band BTS is from which country? So the boy band BTS is from which country? That's question one. Question two, which city is further west? St. Petersburg or Moscow? So which city is further west, St. Petersburg or Moscow? So the answer, take a chance, either one of the two. It's probably not the one you put down. And question number three, how many time zones are there in China? How many time zones are there in China? Even if you stare at that map, it might not be the right answer. Question three. And question four, who got to the North Pole first, Scott or Shackleton? So who got to the North Pole first, Scott or Shackleton? Write it down, either Scott or Shackleton. Question four. Dead easy, aren't they? And question five. How long was the Hundred Years' War? How long was the Hundred Years' War? Question five. And question number six, what was the name of the TV detective played by David Jason? So what was the name of the TV detective played by David Jens Jason? Question number six. Love this music. I made this one as well, Guy. At question seven, which party island said it would not be opening any clubs this year? Easy one this, so which party island said it will not be opening any clubs up this year? Question number seven. And question eight. Who is the CEO of the airline Ryanair? So who is the CEO of the airline Ryanair? Who's going to Google that one then? And question number nine, how many continents are there in the world? How many continents are there in the world? Question number nine. And number 10, Fort Knox is located in which US state? So Fort Knox is located in which US state? Question number 10. And question 11, A, B or C. In what year was the Chernobyl disaster? Was it A, 1986, B, 1990, or C, 1984? So A, B or C. Question 12, what is the largest organ inside the human body? What's the largest organ inside the human body? Number 12. Question 13, just for you, Ivan, this one. In computer science, what does USB stand for? So in computer science, what does USB stand for? Write it down. Question 13.
And question number 14. Who was James Bond immediately before Daniel Craig? So who is James Bond before Daniel Craig? That was question 14. You know his face, but do you know his name? Question 14. One more to go. And number 15. Who is the Queen's youngest child? So who is the Queen's youngest child? Question 15. So there we go, quiz number four. Should we do some answers? And then we can have a break, can't we? So, general knowledge, here we go. Question number one, the boy band BTS is from which country? They're from Cambria. I have no idea where that is, but there we go. Uh, question two, I have a feeling that's probably the wrong answer for question one. I'm sure somebody will ping it up there. Becky, you know the answer to BTS. Put it in the comments and we'll take your answer, not this one. Uh, question two, which city is further west, St. Petersburg or Moscow? And it's St. Petersburg. Number three, how many time zones are there in China? Technically, it covers five time zones, but they only recognize one. So the answer is one. Becky, South Korea. So question one is South Korea. Thank you, Becky. So uh, I was... Question three was time zones in China, so one is the answer. Number four, who got to the North Pole first, Scott or Shackleton? And it was Scott. There we go. Number five, how long was a hundred years war? It was 116 years. Wow. Uh, number six, who played uh, the TV detective uh, David Jason, who was the, I can't even read my own writing, I don't even know what's going on here. Uh, so what was the name of the TV detective played by David Jason? There we go. That was Inspector Frost. Inspector Frost was the answer there. Number seven, the party island that would not do any opening of clubs this year. That is Ibiza. Easy one, I think, there. Number eight, the CEO of the airline Ryanair. That's Michael O'Leary. And number nine, how many continents are there in the world? And that is seven, seven continents. And Fort Knox is located in which US state? And that is Kentucky. Kentucky Fried. Number 11, the year of the Chernobyl disaster. It's either 1986, 1990, or 1984. The answer was A. It was 1986. At number 12, what's the largest organ inside the human body? And that is the liver. The liver. Number 13, the computer science. What does USB stand for? Come on, Ivan. I can hear you shout it out now. Universal Serial Bus. Universal Serial Bus, USB. Question 14. Uh, who did James Bond immediately uh, before Daniel Craig? So who was James Bond before Daniel Craig? That was Piers Brosnan, Piers Brosnan. And number 15. Who is the Queen's youngest child? And that is Prince Edward. Prince Edward, there we go. So, tot up your scores, let's have a look, let's see how you did. I have to bend down here for a second. Here we go. So how did everybody find that one? Good old general knowledge quiz, you can't beat them. Amanda Louise, you're in quick with the scores, that's 12. Well done, Shelley, eight. Good scores, Kev, that's a solid 11, well done. Colin, nine. Uh, Tracy, nine. Uh, Janice got nine as well. Uh, Christina, eight. Ooh, loads come in now. Lucy Jane, 11. Karen, <laughs> absolutely, six out of 15, that's atrocious. But no offense, have a drink, you'll be fine. Uh, Karen Clark, nine. Uh, Nikki, good score, you're back up there, Nikki now. Richard, 11, well done. Avril, 11. Sophie Hilditch, 10. I wonder if I even got that one right. Becky, 7 out of 50. You've done it better. Yeah, you're doing good. That's better. Lee, 8. Zoe, well done. You're back on track. That cocktail that Brian made you must be working well. Louise Ricks, 10. Good score. Sophie, oh, is it the gin or the cocktails this evening? What you do? I, I have no idea, Colin, tonight. <laughs> it was very last minute to go outdoors, trust me. Uh, Kathy, 11. Paula, 9. Julie, double figures. 
11k. Thank you. Uh, Bridget, 8. Pom, good score there, 11. Barbara, 9. Paul, 11, good score. Stella, 9. Katie, shocking, 7. It's not, trust me, that's not the worst score. Sue Hickman, 9. Guy, yes, we can have a break, absolutely. If you want a wee break or a small break, I don't know. Anne got 8. Dorothy got 8. And he did. I thought he would, absolutely. So I'll tell you what, guys, let's have another little break because we deserve it, and then we'll come back with the last quiz of the evening. So, we'll have a nice break, and we'll see you all in a little while. Shabba! Are we all really nearly ready to come back? Really ready? I don't know what I'm saying tonight. What was in that drink? I've no idea. So we'll come back in a few seconds. Well, hello, we are back again for the final quiz. Yes, the final quiz. Oh, it's not good, this top. Um, the final quiz, quiz number five, stars behind bars. It's the best we could do, I'm afraid. Cutbacks, you know. So, stars behind bars. We have 15 stars that have been arrested for doing naughty things. I could just hear the wife laughing now. Thank you, dear. Uh, so, stars behind bars. 15 questions. I just want you to tell me the name of the star behind the bar. Oh, the naughty devil. Here we go, quiz five. So, who's that naughty star? 
behind the bars. What was he naughty for? But what's his name? That's all we need, the person's name. That's question number one. Question number two, Sophie Hilditch, stop it. Question number two, who's that stars behind the bars? Naughty man. These are actual mug shots as well. So these people have been behind bars. Question number three, who's that star behind a bar? Who is that? Number three. And question number four. Who's the star behind the bar? Thank you, Julie Russell. Don't forget, I've got some pictures of you. Question number four, who is that? Here comes number five. Who's the star behind the bar? Who's number six? Who's that star behind the bars? Do you recognize the face? Just write down the name. Simple. Number seven. Who's that star behind the bars? Who is it? Again, all being arrested. Naughty boy. Who is that? Question number seven. Question number eight, who is that person? I would never have guessed this person until I found the answer. Question number eight, who's the star behind the bar? Z Question number nine, who is that? What's the name of that person? Just write down the name, stars behind the bars. Number 10, who's the star behind the bars? Who's been a naughty boy? Number 10, just write down the name. Quite easy, I think, that one. Naughty, naughty, isn't she? But what's her name? Write down the name, question 11. Four more to go. Number 12, who's the naughty star that got arrested? Tut, 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 tut. Question 12, just write down the name. Who's the star behind the bars? Question number 13, he's a familiar face, isn't he? He looks happy to be behind bars. But what's his name? Just write down his name, question 13. Pretty famous one this, wasn't it, from a few years ago? Write down the name of the star behind the bar. What's that naughty man's name? Question 14, one more to go. And who's that cheeky chappy? Write down his name, 
stars behind the bars. Question 15, the last question. Just write down the name of the person behind the bars. Dead easy, isn't it? So there we go, stars behind bars. How amazing was that? Should we do some answers? Let's see what we get. So, stars behind bars, quiz number five. Number one was Charlie Sheen, the naughty boy. Number two, Marilyn Manson. Question three, James Brown, yeah. Number four was Robert Downey Jr., Robert Downey Jr. Number five, Paris Hilton, naughty. Uh, number six, her friend Nicole Ritchie. I think they got done for uh, drink driving, I think, can't remember. Number seven, Vanilla Ice, Vanilla Ice. Number eight, I would never have got this one, that was Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Number nine, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin. Number 10, easy one I think this, Bruno Mars. Don't know what you got done for, but something. Uh, number 11, Khloe Kardashian. Uh, and number 12, Misha Barton, Misha Barton. 13, do you remember his face? But what was his name? That was Mel Gibson. At number 14 was Hugh Grant. Of course it was. He was very naughty, wasn't he? At number 15, Justin Bieber. Good old Bieber got done for doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Naughty boy. Anyway, tot up your scores and let's see how you did on Stars Behind the Bars. some points coming through now let's see how everybody did oh mrs h well done 13 zoe nailed it well done zoe good score that mandy 13 good score i like this round it was a good one bridget eight not too bad becky you see you've come trumps at the end that's all that matters well done sophie 14 a good score there uh, kathy 30 yeah i know it was the best so far your score or the round i have no idea Richard Dixon, yes, 13 out of 15. Well done, Colin, eight. Uh, Shelley, 14 out of 15, 52 out of 75. Well done for your final score. Karen, nine. Tracy, 13. Colin, 45 out of 75. Six, rubbish. Yeah, Kev, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, anyway, Paul Rigby, what do you get? 57 out of 75, good final score there. Karen, seven. Sophie, 11. You've done some good scores this week, Sophie. I have a feeling tonight you could be up on the top there. Uh, Kathy, eight. I'd be proud of that as well. That's a good score. And seven. Nikki, 13. 63 out of 75, Amanda. Good score. Six. Not bad, Julie. Yeah. Janice, 42. That's a good final score. Louise got 10. Pom, 52 for your final. Guy, eight. Smiley face. Indeed, you deserve one. Uh, 12 for that round, 53 altogether, Barbara, that's all right. 53 for Paula. Uh, Danielle Taylor, 14 out of 15. That's a good score, Danielle, well done. Sophie, 51 out of 75, the highest score so far. Well done. K Rogers, 10, good scores. Okay, Lee, we'll, we'll I'll, oh no, I've, oh, everybody's seen it now, 37, sorry about that. Nikki, 56, that's a top score, well done. Rachel, 12. Lucy, 52, 52 from Guy, 58, Kathy, well done, 46 in total, Karen, good fun, I know, absolutely, we, I wasn't going to do it outside tonight, but the thunder stops, and I thought, let's go outside and have some fresh air, absolutely, sure, vanilla, no, it wasn't, it was vanilla ice, definitely, uh, Dorothy, force of 36, that's a good score, Gillian, 50, well done, you're welcome, Janice. Uh, have a, I will have a nice birthday, probably. Uh, 29 for Becky, that's not a bad score at all. Zoe, you can't add up, I know, don't worry. Uh, Richard, 52s for your finals, that's not too bad. Rachel, 50. I think there were some tougher questions this week. What do we think to that? You missed the first round, so you got an average. Well, give yourself another 12. It's fine, Kate, doesn't matter. You're welcome, Sophie. Good to see you coming back to us. 
Uh, we enjoyed it. Sue Hickman, 14 out of 15, so 54. Well done. And Martin, 46. Sophie, that is the highest score, I think, this week. 62 out of 75. Well done, the Hill Ditches. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. And well done, Ivan, for getting the USB question right. Uh, thank you, Guy. Yes, I'll have a lovely day on Wednesday. Probably. I don't know. So, thank you very much, everybody. Another week, week 12 done. Are we ready for week 13? <gasps> Lucky for some, absolutely. We've got a bumper quiz next week. We have six quizzes. Oh, how are we going to cope? But the bonus is the emoji round is back. Yes, the emoji round is back. Yes, I hear you cry. So, I'm going to go now and have a lie down in the bush, just behind here, and have a vodka and coke. So please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and we'll see you all next week. One word to say, and that is Shabba. Cheers, everybody. You're welcome. Please stay safe. Have a lovely week, whatever you're doing. If ever you've got any birthday wishes or anything you want to share, just give me a ping through the message through Facebook and we'll see what we can do for next week. But until then, Shabba. Good night. <laughs>